a gold medal. In college football, one of the top honors is to be voted the best by the Associated Press sports writers from all over this nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome these outstanding young athletes, members of the All-American football team for 1984. First, the defense. Leslie O'Neill, Oklahoma State University, defensive tackle. Yes, sir. Leslie's kind of large. When he plays, he has to wear a number and a license plate. Bruce Smith, Virginia Tech, defensive tackle. Look at the size of this guy. If we had anything this big when I went to school, we held a senior prom in it. <laughs> Tony Casillas, Oklahoma, middle guard. Yes, sir. When a Tony takes to the field, he's always easy to spot. Instead of a number on his jersey, he has a zip code. <laughs> How would you like me to zip your lip? It's the last time I buy a line from Don Rickles. <laughs> Greg Carr, linebacker, Auburn University. Yeah. Greg really creates havoc among the offense, which causes problems. After each play, the game is delayed while homicide detectives draw chalk lines around his victims. <laughs> Jack Del Rio, linebacker from the University of Southern California. Yes, sir. When Jack has finished sacking quarterbacks, he can't wait to turn pro so he can appear in beer commercials. <laughs> He told me he's not sure which he enjoys more, a blitz or a schlitz. <laughs> James Wright, University of South Carolina linebacker. Yes, sir. At SC, James' specialty is the quarterback sack. During one play, he squeezed the quarterback so hard, the guy is now using a watch band to keep his pants up. Larry Station, University of Iowa, linebacker. At 6'1 and 233 pounds, Larry is the pride of the Midwest, and it's easy to tell why. He was born in Iowa, Nebraska, and Missouri. <laughs> David Fulcher, Arizona State, defensive back. Yes, sir. David is one of the most popular players at Arizona. He really gives the alumni there a lift. After every game, he carries them home on his shoulders. <laughs> Jerry Gray, University of Texas, defensive back. There's Jerry, another two-time winner. Jerry's been physical all his life. When he was born, he slapped the doctor before the doctor could slap him. <laughs> Kyle Morrell, Brigham Young University, defensive back. Let me tell you, Kyle's fantastic. He's intercepted more passes than Brooke Shields' mother. <laughs> Tony Thurman, Boston College, defensive back. Tony, how do you keep in such great shape? I mean, when you're in training, do you go out with girls? It's part of my training. <laughs> Boy, ask a dumb question, you get a smart answer. Ricky Anderson, Vanderbilt University, punter. Yes, sir. Ricky had an 82-yard punt against Georgia this year. Two of the referees had to take a cab just to spot the ball. Now the offensive team. Mark Bavall, Notre Dame tight end. Now Mark can really get loose to snag those passes. He's got more tricky moves than a nudist at a bumblebee convention. <laughs> Earlier this year, this Notre Dame star had a slight leg injury. It was finally diagnosed as holy water on the knee. <laughs> Eddie Brown, University of Miami, wide receiver. Eddie grabs anything that's up in the air. He had nine catches in his last game, but one was disallowed. He came down with a Goodyear blimp. <laughs> David Williams, University of Illinois, wide receiver. Another great receiver. And after he catches the ball, it's not easy to stop him. He's carried so many tacklers along with him, he's listed in the yellow pages under public transportation. <laughs> Elvis Brown, University of Florida, offensive tackle. Yes, sir, this is one big football player. He's going to play in the Hula Bowl and the Senior Bowl at the same time. <laughs> Bill Fralick, University of Pittsburgh, offensive tackle. This is Bill's third time on the All-American. Let me tell you, that's great. And he's always been known for his strength. Even as a little Boy Scout, he didn't walk little old ladies across the street. He threw them across. <laughs> 
Dan Lynch, Washington State University, offensive guard. Dan's a tough football player. When he's blocking, he can carry four men with him. He has muscles in places where I don't even have places. <laughs> Dale Wilkes, University of South Carolina, offensive guard. At 6'3 and 266 pounds, Dale is one of the most aggressive blockers in the history of South Carolina. He doesn't even wear a face mask. That's because he keeps eating it. <laughs> Mark Trainowitz, University of Nebraska, center. Yeah, Mark is the big center for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. He feels he has to play extra hard because from his point of view, the other 10 players are upside down. <laughs> Doug Flutie, Boston College quarterback. Congratulations, our Heisman Trophy winner, ladies and gentlemen, right there. <laughs> yes, sir, what a passer Doug is. Doug can thread a needle at 30 yards. He's been drafted by the AFL, the NFL, and the Sun City Ladies Sewing Circle. <laughs> Keith A. Byers, Ohio State, running back. Yes, sir. Byers can run over tacklers, through them, or just toss them aside. He's more dangerous with the ball than Jerry Ford. <laughs> Ken Davis, Texas Christian University, running back. Opponents say that Ken Davis runs like the wind. That's because whenever you try to grab him, Marty catches pneumonia. <laughs> John Lee, UCLA, place kicker. John's longest kick at UCLA was a 52-yarder against Arizona State, and it almost caused an international incident. It showed up on the anti-missile radar screen in Moscow. <laughs> the Associated Press 1984 All-American football team, ladies and gentlemen, there they are. Come on now, fellas. Come on now. Let me say, it takes more than just natural ability to make the All-American team. It takes a dedication to training, to playing the game, to the spirit of intercollegiate football, and of course, it takes a dedication to excellence in scholastic endeavors. And I, I was, I, 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 I. And it also takes a dedication to American womanhood. Fellas, and lots of luck. I think I get my hat and go with them.